I've just finished correcting a series of images, and now I'd like to make small emailable JPEGs, but at the same time, save uncompressed Photoshop files to do further work. I'm going to filter by Camera Raw only. They're the ones I've worked on. And I will click the first image and Shift-click the last and run Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor. But I'm going to do a few things. Once I correct the first batch, I will rename the files and do a different correction and save another version for the client. So I will select the folder inside my Chapter 7 folder, and it will make a folder called JPEG, or a folder called PSD, or a folder called TIFF. I could save it all three at once. I really like to use TIFF to keep full resolution, but compress without damaging or harming the image or throwing away pixels like JPEG does. So TIFF would be smaller than PSD or the Photoshop format, and the JPEG would be the smallest, and they're ideal for anyone I'm sending this to that I'm not sharing through Facebook. I just want an email attachment. Because a lot of people send their original camera JPEGs, which could be 5 megs or 10 megs, and they'll eat up an inbox. So I want to size them down so they just get something to look at, but they don't need the full res version. So I will select my Chapter 7 folder, and I'm going to make three at once, just so you could see the difference. So on JPEGs, I always set a quality between 6 and 8, and I'll resize it so it fits nicely in an email application, 800 by 600. PSDs, I'll leave it original size, and TIFF, I'll turn on the Lempel Ziv and Welch compression. So when I hit Run, all four images will be resaved, and I can hide everything when it's finished or while it's working. I'll minimize or hide on the Mac, open up my Project Files folder, open up the Chapter 7 folder. There's my TIFFs, 15 to 18 megs. There's my PSDs, all the same size, 30 megs. And there is my nice, tiny, emailable JPEGs. But since my camera also shoots in JPEG, what I'm going to do is batch rename the smaller JPEGs so I know they aren't the original higher resolution, higher dimension camera JPEGs. I selected the first image, shift-clicked the last image, and Tools, Batch Rename. But this time, I will keep the current file name in the original case, and I will add some text to it, underscore SM for small. So four files pick up that naming convention. I'll hit Rename. I'll come back to the Studio Shots. I'll hide the JPEGs by showing only the camera raw. And now I'm going to do a different correction. I'm going to shoot for this image. I really love the expression. I'll double click on this image, and I want to give it an old tiny feel. So I'm going to scroll down and take the vibrance away. So it's not technically desaturated, but if you took all the vibrance out, it would mostly desaturate it. But it gives that vintage or aged feel to the photograph. And maybe I want a little bit darker exposure and darker blacks, or I could play with the whites. I could make all kinds of moves to get a special effect. I really want to go for a more blown out image. It's an artistic expression of this image, not keeping all of the detail, and maybe some darker shadows. So it's a really different version of the first shot. So now I hit Done, come back over to Bridge. I like this correction, so I will choose Edit, Develop Settings, Copy Camera Raw, Select the whole series, Edit, Develop Settings, Paste Camera Raw, click OK. And then I'll give these a new name before I run the image processor so I have a second version for the client. So Tool, Batch Rename, 
I'll keep the current file name, but this time I will add aged. And I don't need that last underscore. Rename. Tools. Photoshop. Image processor. Love this trick. Keep my small emailable JPEGs, also PSD. This time I don't need a TIFF, so I'll turn that off. Hit run. <laughs> I always want to say run, Forrest, run. While it's running, I can look in the JPEG folder. Here are my new versions popping in or populating. So you can clearly see the vibrance difference and the overall look and feel difference on these shots. And then the PSDs and also the TIFFs. But on the JPEGs, I always encourage you to add the SM for small on the name so you don't get mixed up with the original camera JPEGs. So I used my Command key on the Mac or Control key to select the non-adjacent or non-touching items. And I will choose Tools, Batch Rename, add SM to the end, and it's done. And now I've used Photoshop's Image Processor, which I started from Adobe Bridge with Tools Photoshop Image Processor and combined it with the Camera Raw settings to get different versions of the same image in two or three different formats or just one. And I could start over and do a third correction and repeat the whole series. So never accept just your first correction because even looking at these two side by side, if I go to preview, the first one's nice, but I think I might have gone too rich in the color. I really love the age look of the second one, but I might be my perfectionist self and go in and do a third, maybe some clarity and angel effect, change the colors overall. So see what different looks you can get using Camera Raw out of the same image and make your own new originals to compare each version.